Hey guys, Vin for The Better Gentleman, and today I want to take a look at these Aki T10 wireless earbuds. And this one, in my opinion, is going to be very interesting because of its price point. It's at like about 100 bucks, I think like 109 or something like that. Um, I did use like a 20% off coupon that they had on their Amazon, and I was able to get like around 80 bucks. But something to keep in mind, these are like, these are getting into like the Galaxy Buds territory. These are 130 so the Aki's have to really blow my mind away in some way for me to like give them a decent grade. Like for 109, the retail price and stuff like that, they have to do something really, really great. So let's go ahead and uh, start unboxing this. Alright, so here we go. We got our first look at them. These definitely look really, really nice. Like, they look like they could be $100. See that? They have a really nice, like, rubberized, like, texture, like, around them. So that's really cool as well. They do have smart buttons. Again, very nice so far. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Again, they have to do something like particular though to, to beat the Galaxy Buds. Because around their price point, they have to match up to that. Oh, kind of like that. How do you... Oh, okay, so you twist this guy around and that's how you store the buds. Here, let me see which one's left and which one's left. Ooh, that's a strong magnet. Grab that right there. Nice. Hmm. So, pretty good. Hang on, does this like come apart or something? Or just want to make sure it's sturdy enough. Like, because it kind of feels a little bit flimsy. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, it held it in place. So the cool part about this is because it's like closed like that. If you drop them, you have no risk of these popping out. So pretty cool. I actually wasn't sure if I was gonna like this design or not, like from the photos and stuff I saw, but that's actually pretty, pretty neat. Let me see if, uh, I mean, again, these are significantly, well, double in size almost. Uh, still a little bit bulky, but um, yeah, it fits in the pocket. All right, so let me see what else they got inside the box here. All right, we got our quick start guide. Ooh, again, very, very nice presentation here. Ooh, if I can get this guy. Take a look at that. It has a two-year product warranty. That's, that's pretty cool. All right. Two-year product warranty on these guys. We got our user manual. I'll go through that in just a second. We got our quick start guide. Go through that in just a second. Um, I believe these are like the adjustable ear tips and stuff. So, or not, is there nothing in here? Oh, it is, it's just jammed in there. So let me, let me see this side. And now they went in the middle. What? Boy, this doesn't. All right. Here we go. Actually very similar um, to how the Galaxy Buds work. So you got like a top piece that'll hold it in your ear and then you can, you know, you got adjustable ones to see which one fits better. And then you have the ear tips as well. So these should be pretty good whenever it comes to noise isolation and stuff like that. All right, and here I believe we got our USB-C charging cable. Let me go ahead and charge this guy up. All right, so I wanted to charge these guys up, and one thing I want to check out, like, straight off the bat is the wireless charging. These should have it. Oh, and look at that. That was pretty snappy. Uh, they connected, like, super quick. All right, so there you go. Wireless charging in this uh, little package here. Again, not too bad. I'm going to go through the user manual, 
and uh, we'll see what we got and what we're working with. Okay guys, so we got this guy charged up here. It has an LED indicator in the front and it's got an LED indicator on both these earbuds as well. Alrighty guys, some specs real quick. This is Bluetooth 5.0. It has a six millimeter driver in each one of these earbuds. Its frequency range is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Its impedance is about 16 ohms. The charging time for the, each of these earbuds is 1.5 hours and the battery life is up to seven hours in each one of these buds and they are IPX5 rated. So pretty cool. And for the case, it charges in one and a half hours. It has a 400 milliamp hour battery and it can charge the pair three times. So that pre that's pretty good. All right, so while going through the manual, I did notice that it said the right one is the host. So that's kind of like, that, that kind of sticks out like a thorn to me because especially at this price point, if you're trying to sell something for 109, you should be able to use whichever one you want, you know, at any given point like these guys. And at 109, you're getting into this price category. Like you should be as good as Galaxy Buds but anyways, we're gonna give this guy a chance. Uh, we're gonna pair this up to my phone and uh, let's go from there. All right, so let's pair it up here. Let's go to Bluetooth. And to pair it, uh, you do have to pull it out here. Pair a new device. All right. Aki P10s. Yep, pair with Aki P10s. All right, connected. Oh, well, actually, one thing I want to point out is the fit on these is really, really good. Alrighty guys, so just finished uh, testing this guy out and I even did a bit of a fitness test there. Um, so a couple things I wanted to point out about it is that like the sound quality is really, really good. I do appreciate the sound quality on these. It's really, really good. The fitment also is really, really great. Um, didn't have any issues while doing the exercises or anything like that. Um, was able to run around as well and all solid, no issues with um, sound quality or connectivity or um, fitment all of that was really good and I'm not gonna lie like I mean the fit and finish of these like these do feel like something that could be a hundred dollars like straight up um, no complaints about that so what but one of the things I did notice though is that there is the tiniest bit of lag uh, whenever uh, you're watching a video or anything like that, just the tiniest bit. Um, other than that, like I also noticed, um, it's just one of the things that really annoys me is like whenever you can't like choose whichever earbud you want, especially at $109, I feel like they should have been able to figure that out. Alrighty, so wrapping up here, I just wanted to point out that I would not buy these for a retail price. Like for 109 bucks, no, definitely no. And uh, whenever I got them, they were, uh, they had like a discount. I think they were like 80 bucks or something like that, 70, 80 bucks. Um, and uh, to be fair, right now on Amazon, they are 89.99, I just checked. But still at that price point, I still can recommend it. And I get that like, I mean, it's a little bit easier to recommend it at um, $89.99 because it puts a $20 gap, an, an additional $20 gap between them and the Galaxy Buds. But like, I just, I mean, I, I wouldn't pay something like close to a hundred bucks for these guys. Uh, reason being is, well, don't get me wrong, sound quality, everything is great, fitment and every, everything about it is great. But it's just such a, small price difference like when you get to like 100 bucks and then you got these for like you know 130 and i'm sure you get these refurbished for cheaper um and you get a way more options like color and whatnot with these guys that you do not get with these and uh, these are a little bit easier to fit in your pocket 
and you get ambience mode and whatnot with these guys and a lot more features within the app um, like sound control like, uh, equalizer control and stuff like that whereas you do not get that with these and uh, something to point out like that's interesting and the reason I give it uh, my score which is a B right I, I want to give it a C plus but the reason I'm giving it a B is because I do see potential in these um, so whenever the Galaxy Buds came out they had a lot of flaws too and it took them a little bit uh, through updates and whatnot to get them to work properly um, these guys actually I it, it's not mentioned anywhere on the Amazon listing or anything like that I googled it and I was able to find an app for this from Aki um, but right now it's at a one star rating and uh, however it does like you know it does tout that those features might be possible in the future like um, they're saying that you'll be able to control the ambience noise and the noise isolation a little bit and whatnot. So if they are able to pull that off, then this would definitely get like a B for me. Still not an A because the whole right left earbud thing really pisses me off, but whatever. Um, but yeah, especially at like a hundred bucks, that, that should not even be a thing. Like you can get way better like quality headsets at like Best Buy or whatever that'll be able to go ahead and compete more um, more with the Galaxy Buds or something like that. Like the whole left right earbud thing at like 90 bucks, like no, nah, that's not, that, that should not be happening in my opinion. Other things within this price point that just do it better than uh, what this guy is offering right now. So like for, if you're looking at like about 90 bucks, I mean, I would just go ahead and spend the extra like little bit that there is between that and the Galaxy Buds, maybe get like a refurbished version of it or whatever, and it'll be cheaper. But yeah, I think the thing is, I the price point on this isn't right. If this was like 60 bucks, like 50, 60 bucks, uh, straight slam dunk because the, the music quality and everything is there. But you know where it's sitting right now at like a hundred bucks somewhere around there to me it's it's just not worth it i mean i'll list a whole uh i'll put a list of like the pros and cons in the description and i'm still going to try these out for like the next week or so um if you guys got any questions just leave them down below and i'll do my best to answer them and i'll see you guys next time